How's it going YouTube? It's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Nike Air Max 95 Quick Strike in the Greedy 2.0 colorway. Initially this dropped in Asia, but then recently they finally arrived here in North America. They retailed for 190 US dollars or 250 Canadian dollars, which is a small bump from your normal Air Max 95. The official colorway for this shoe is black, white, gunsmoke, and multicolor. And this year being the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 95, this is the follow-up to the original Greedy Air Max 95s, which dropped back in 2015. So this whole concept of the Greedy Air Max 95 is essentially the same as Nike's What The Series. What Nike's doing is creating a mashup shoe of various colors from past Air Max 95s and creating this Frankenstein-like take where the right shoe and the left shoe are different. While I wasn't crazy about the original Greedies, I found that the 2.0 is much more wearable and I was super excited to grab this and add this to my collection. So diving straight in, as you guys can see, both the lateral side and the medial side of both sides of the shoe are different. So let's take this one by one and start things off taking a look at the lateral side of the right foot. So for this side, this takes your classic color blocking of your Air Max 95 Neon. We have these wavelength patterns that runs along the length of the shoe, and this is done in various shades and various materials. So for example, at the bottom, we have this darker gray suede. It goes up to a lighter shade of gray, and we have two layers of Nubuck at the very top. Above this, we have white colored mesh, and the eyelets on this side are done in this neon colored nylon. Towards the back, we have this neon colored Nike swoosh as well. If you guys look at the lateral side on the left foot, this side is inspired by the Photo Blue Air Max 95. So again, we have those different layers and materials running up from the bottom. But the biggest difference here is we have this inverted color on the mesh. So this side is done in black, whereas on the right foot, it was done in white. And the eyelets here are done in a blue colored nylon. Similar to the right foot, we have a Nike swoosh embroidered on the back as well. And this one is done in photo blue. Covering the toe caps, we have this white leather, which is the same on both the left and right foot. Moving on to the medial side of the shoe. So first off, taking a look at the right foot, the layers are entirely done in leather, but you'll see how it starts from black at the bottom, alternating to white, black again, white at the top, and then it's finished off with black mesh. The eyelets on this side are done in white nylon with a center strip of black, and then rounding this all out, we have a gold swoosh found on the back heel. When you compare this to the medial side of the left foot, so it's basically an inverted take. So we have white leather at the bottom, black, and then white, and then black. And then the top layer of mesh is done in white. And as expected, the eyelets at the top are done predominantly in black nylon with a center accent of white in the middle. And then the swoosh on the back heel, this one is done in black. If we take a look at the center of the shoe, so the tongues are also done in opposite fashion. So the tongue on the right foot is done in black, whereas the mesh on the left shoe is done in white. And then we have this overlay of 3M which runs down the middle in this sort of Y shape. And this is done in this pale blue color on the right foot and this red color on the left foot. We also have this Air Max branding at the very top of the tongue. So it's red and black on the right foot and white, gray, and aqua on the left foot. We have mismatching laces as well. And you'll see the laces also come with different colored lace tips too. The back end of the shoe is entirely covered in silver 3M, but we have aqua colored Nike Air branding on the right foot and this red colored branding on the left foot. Pulling up the insoles, these come with mismatching insoles. So on the right foot, we have this blue colored insole with Nike Air Max branding done in neon. And on the left shoe, we have this red colored insole with blue and white colored accents on the heel. So the upper of these Air Max 95s sits atop this foam midsole, which is colored in white. And being an Air Max 95 model, we have visible air both underneath the forefoot and, of course, underneath the back heel. Nike has continued the whole mismatching look on this shoe with the airbags themselves. So on the left foot, we have these blue colored air units. And on the right foot, we have these volt or neon colored air units. However, on the back heel, the air units are colored a different color here as well. So we have this aqua finish on the right foot and a red finish on the left foot. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your classic Air Max 95 outsole. So this is for the most part done in black colored rubber, but we have these turquoise or aqua colored hits on the right foot and these red colored hits on the left foot. From a sizing standpoint, my feet measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. And generally speaking, for a lot of people, they go true to size for the Air Max 95s. But if you have really wide feet, you can definitely go up a half size. Getting these in a size 10, they were a little bit snug in this toe area right here. So if you want more of a roomy fit and if you have wider feet, definitely go up a half size. Otherwise, for everyone else, sticking with your true size is going to be perfectly fine. 
Moving on to the topic of comfort. So straight out of the box, the Air Max 95, at least this version, wasn't the most comfortable sneaker out there, but it felt perfectly fine for just everyday casual use. And in my past experiences with my older Air Max 95s, they definitely feel better the more you break them in. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace up these greedy 2.0 Air Max 95s and I'll show you guys how these guys look on feet. This is definitely a very fun and creative take on the Air Max 95 and one that definitely turned heads. I wore these for a couple hours yesterday and I already got random people commenting on my shoes. It's a very great shoe for the summer in my opinion and it's not as loud as Nike's usual takes on the What The series. So if you like the playfulness of the mismatching colors but you don't want something that's going to be way too in your face then this is a very good option. So let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this greedy 2.0 Nike Air Max 95. Is this a shoe that you guys think you could pull off or is it just way too out there for your personal taste? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on Instagram at sgo8. Check out my Twitter at sean.go and visit my website at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.